Hey everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial and in this session we will discuss about how to create a dot model class that can be used to serialize the JSON values while handling API calls. So whenever it comes to API calls, the data what we are going to get is in the form of JSON values. It may vary from a simple JSON to a more complex nested JSON. Hence in this video we will address how to create a dot model class with the help of an extension available in VS Code and make the process even more simple. Therefore without any further detail, let's directly jump into the code and start with the implementation process. Here starting with the main.dat file we have a navigation to my home page. Here the my home page is nothing but a stateless widget class that is going to contain the app bar and the body which contains the elevator button placed right at the center. And upon clicking this button we will try to mimic the process of getting the data from the API. But we are not going to make any API calls here we try to manually mimic the process of getting the data. Okay so this is pretty much how the UI is going to look like. Now let's have a look into the JSON value what we are going to use. Here inside the data layer, we have the models and inside the JSON value of the dot file, we have explicitly defined the JSON what we are going to use in this tutorial. We have the name, the date of birth and we have the address and inside which we have the code that in turn contains the postal code and zip code. Okay, so this is the basic JSON value what we will be using and we will try to serialize this JSON to try to print the data in the console. Okay. Now for this JSON value, let's try to create a dot model class. Hence, we go to this home page model the dot file. Here, let's create a separate class called home page model that is going to contain three main attributes. One is the name, and second is going to be the address that is going to be the map object, and finally we have the data birth. So as you can see, our JSON also has the same set of architecture. We have the name, then we have the data birth. The same way we have the address, which in turn is going to be again a map object. After doing so. Let's move on to this extension tab what you have in the VS code and let's search for dot data class generator. So this is going to be the extension that will pretty much help us in serializing the JSON values and it will also make the development process even more faster. Okay, make sure you install this extension in VS code. Now back to our model classes after installing the extension, let's first try to create a constructor for the final fields and with the help of the same quick fix. You can just make use of the generate data class. Now as you hit enter, so with this we don't need to write the boilerplate code all by ourselves, it is less error prone. So you can make use of this extension and get the job done even more faster. Now we have the JSON value as well as we have the model classes up and ready. Now let's try to mimic the process of API calling. Here all the API calls will be written down inside the repository folder and let's create an abstract class called homepage repository that is going to contain the method get data. Since it is going to be an abstract class we won't be writing the definition that is the method definition inside the class. Hence we will create another class called homepage repo which extends the homepage repository abstract class. And here let's override the method get data and say this get data we will try to create a manual delay of around 100 milliseconds just to mimic the network delay what we get typically during the API calls and finally we make use of the from map of method available in the model classes so this from map of factory method is pretty much something generated by the extension itself so we make use of that method and pass in the json value so the json value is something which you have explicitly defined in a separate dot file so this is the json value which we will be passing into the from map of method created by the extension itself and we'll try to return the same now inside this ui code we try to call this get data method Inside the method function call, we try to call this get data method, which will in turn serialize the JSON object. Now we have successfully completed the process serializing the JSON value with the help of the dot model object. So in order to display the corresponding data, say for example, here inside the JSON value, if we want to try display any of these values, say for example, if you want to try to display the year here in the date of birth, you can do so by make use of the dot operator. Since the temp is going to be of type home page model, we can make use of the dot operator to access the date of birth. If you try to click this, you see we get the date of birth being displayed. In order to uniquely display any of these values like the year, day or month, you can make use of the square bracket and pass in the key over here. And this time if you try to click this, you get only the day value. So day value is going to be 1. So we get it displayed here. Just the same way if you want to try to display any of these uh, values which is placed in the nested format like postcode. 
it make use of the same technique just with the help of the dot operator followed by address and the code now this temp one will contain pretty much both postal code and the pin code now in order to uniquely print any of this postal or zip code we make use of the json encode and json decode method just like this so if you now click this get data method you see we have the year printed which is 2021 and the postal code which is 1 2 and 3 you can also check for the same here the postal code is 1 2 3 so this is pretty much how we can make use of the dot model class to serialize the json values while handling api calls and also at the same time make use of the extension available in vs code to make the development process even more faster hope you guys found this tutorial useful if you do so consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one <laughs>